Well, hello, my pretties. How y'all doing today? I just wanted to chime in before the video starts, just to give you a little rundown on the video um, that you're about to see. I have started my intimate fasting. I don't know if I told you before, but I lost like 70 pounds intimate fasting before and now that I have gained the COVID weight, I want to start intimate fasting again. Usually I start off the first two weeks, I fast for 16 hours and I have an eating window of eight hours where I eat a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. And I start off working out three times a week and I start off with 30 minutes a day. Then the next two weeks, I, which is this week, what you're going to see, I'm only eating two times a day because now I fast for 18 hours and I have a six hour window of eating. I break my fast at about two o'clock. I don't eat anymore after eight. So when I come home, I might break my fast with a sandwich or something light. I'll give you a video on that as well. But this video is only on what I eat for dinner. I don't deprive myself when I'm intimate fasting, but I do watch my carbs and my portion control. So that's what you're going to be seeing in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Any questions, comment down below and I will answer them for you. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe if you're new. We are growing. We are almost there. So I thank you all for tuning in the way that you do. So enjoy the video. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better This is a pork chop for my husband that I'm getting ready to put in this deep fryer. Let's make it fit. Mine's will be without flour. Now, here is my pork chop without flour. I didn't want flour, I didn't want those carbs. So, this is for a pork chop sandwich. Now, 
Now, here are the three pork chop sandwiches. These two are with flour, and this one is fried without flour because I did not want the carbs. And it's okay to use oil. It's just the oil that you buy, like canola oil, vegetable oil. Those are not good oils. If you have a good oil, you can fry your food. You don't have to deep fry it. You can just put a little bit in the pan. But I had some grease ready, so I just put it inside my deep fryer. This is the oil that, one of the oils that you can use. This right here, olive oil. I always get organic. And this is from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to make a pork chop sandwich and the bread that I will be using. My keto bread from Aldi's. Okay, the carbs on here are nine grams, but is zero because when you subtract the fiber from the carbs, you get nine from nine is zero. So it's zero carbs. So I'm going to be using two slices of bread. I'm going to have me a sandwich and I'm going to have some uh, vegetables. dinners that I knocked out in one day. Yeah, a uh, double chicken.
Okay. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what it could. And I'm using this ground beef. And I'm going to make a bunch of turkey burgers and put some away. And like for lunch, if we want, you can use for a sandwich. I'm going to put it in this bowl here and I'm going to season it. And I'm going to have them all cooked up. Now I have added all of my seasonings. I put some green peppers, red peppers, onions inside, and some garlic minced garlic and I'm just going to mix everything up real good and then I'm going to put them on the George Foreman and I'll be back so I'm going to let these cook on the George Foreman and once these cook I'm going to keep on cooking them till all of them are done Now all the turkey burgers are done, and after they cool off, I put them in this Ziploc bag, put it in the refrigerator, and for lunch, we take one, or Babe could take one with, for him for lunch, and this is the bread we'll be using, uh, 647, and this is the rolls. We might put a slice of cheese on it. Now it's gonna be 